Last week on my blog, I posted these post-it note covers, and I've been getting a lot of questions this last week about the sports team's logos that I put on the front of them, where I got them, how I cut them out, and all of that. So today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is you will go to Google or your favorite search engine, and I'm going to do the Notre Dame logo today. So I'm going to type in Notre Dame and go down to University of Notre Dame. And then up here under this little menu thing, it says Web Images Maps Shopping. I'm going to click Images. Then I'm going to go over to Search Tools and click that. Under Any Type, I'm going to go down and click Clip Art. So all it shows me is the clip art. And then under Any Size, the, the best thing for pixel tracing is to use a large image. The smaller the image, the harder it is to get a good trace. So just remember when you're doing this, you want to use a large image. I know, because I've already looked, because I was trying to prep for this video, that there isn't a large image that I like. So there is one that's medium. So I'm going to use the medium. If it was in large, I would be choosing the large, but there's not an option for me for large, so I'm going to use the medium. Okay, and then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to use this image, so I'm going to open it, just like that, and I'm going to right-click it, save as, I'm going to go into my sports logos folder, and I'm going to save it in there. And then I'm going to leave this open so that I can come back and look at it if I need to. So I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to open Make the Cut to a fresh page. I'm going to go up to Pixel Trace, which is up here. It's this little, there's four little squares and then some little red dots. And when you hover over it, it actually does say Pixel Trace. I'm going to click the Pixel Trace and it's going to open my files. I'm going to go over to my sports logo file because that's where I saved the picture or the clip art. I'm going to click the Notre Dame clip art and it opens up the pixel trace window. Now it actually pixel, oops, sorry, it actually pixel traced it pretty well. I'm going to up my threshold to 150 just to see if I get a clearer trace. It actually does look a little bit better. So let's go up to 175 and see if it's even better. And I think I do. I think I like the 175. I just kind of play with it and look at it until I can, until I decide which one I like better. I just type in different thresholds. Okay, let's go with 170. That's kind of in the middle of what I was doing. Well, not quite in the middle, but that one's a little, I like that one a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to import, and I still have another layer that I need to cut out, that I need to pixel trace in order to cut this out. So it's gonna, it asks me, would you like to continue tracing and add more layers? Click no if you're finished, and click yes to continue. So I wanna click yes to continue because there is, if you look at this, you can see there's an additional layer back here that's not being traced. So I need to trace that. So now I'm gonna go down my thresh, I'm gonna bring my threshold down to 100 and see if I can get it to grab, and sure enough, it grabbed it. So I'm gonna go even further and see if I can get an even better trace. And it looks even better. So let's go a little bit further down. I'm going to go 60. So I like the 60. So I'm going to import that one. And I'm done. I have all of the, the layers traced at this point. So I'm going to click no to finish tracing. Now I have two traces that I've done. This is the second one. And this is the first one. And I'm going to 
select the second one and I'm going to put it on its own layer. And we are going to do that one first. I like to work from the bottom up. So let's look at this picture again so we can, I want to show you what I'm going to do. So looking at this, I, it looks like I have four layers. I have a blue layer here, a green layer, then a white layer, and then another green layer. Now, I could cut it just back to three layers. I could do a blue layer, a green layer, and then I could use a layer just on the top with this white where I would just cut the white out and piece it over the top. Because the logo that I'm going to be cutting out is going to be pretty small, I would rather not try to fiddle with these thin little pieces with a thin little white pieced layer. So I'm actually decide have have decided I'm going to do th I'm going to do four layers. I'm going to do a blue layer, a green layer, a white layer, and a blue layer. It'll or a green layer. It'll just be easier to do it that way than trying to get this little skinny white piece on there perfectly okay so we're going with four layers okay so the first thing that we're going to do is the back layer so i have this the pixel trace selected i'm going to go to break okay and i'm going to zoom out oops in i mean so it's easier to see so this back layer right here, we're going to pull that out. That is going to be our blue layer. So we're going to put it on a new layer, and we're actually going to change the color of it to blue. Now, this next layer is a green layer, and this is actually the next layer that we have. So we need to we need these little pieces in here when we broke it apart they they broke apart too but we actually need them to create the n and the d so we're selecting all of them shape magic and we're going to join them together so that creates our n and our d again this is going to be the third the second layer and i just want to show you something really quickly when you zoom in down here on the corner you see this little circle down here we don't want that little circle, so we're going to right click, split, and that gets rid of our little circle. So now we can delete him, and we're going to zoom back in. So now this is our second layer, and we already put it on its own layer, and it is going to be green, so let's change its color to green just like that so now that we have layer one and layer two done now we're going to move on to layer three and layer three is the skinny little white layer but we aren't going to cut it out like that we're actually going to cut out a bigger layer so the first thing that we're going to do is select shape magic and we're going to break it all apart this very back piece we can get rid of because that's actually the same as our blue layer. So we're going to get rid of that. Delete. And now we're going to, what I like to do, because we actually need both of these layers. We need the white layer and we need the this front layer is going to be the green layer. Just to be safe, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go down here to the default layer and click on the default layer. And then I'm going to paste in place. So I have a second one as a backup and I'll probably use it. But let's turn the eye off so that it's hidden and we can't do anything to it. It's just our backup in case we need it. So the next thing that we're going to do is the white layer, the second or the third layer, which is white, and that's the biggest layer, which you can see here. So I'm going to pull off the top layer and pull it down because we're not going to need that right now and then I have to keep these pieces in here but I actually have there's two of them on each section because one belongs to this layer down here that we've removed and one belongs to the white layer 
So what we're going to need to do is remove one of these on each of this, each of these, one of each of them. So for the white piece, because it's it's bigger than the front piece, we're going to remove the bigger piece of each one of these. And what you do is just slowly go up to the image. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see. Slowly go up to it and you're going to select the bigger one and see how it, it highlights it. If I go too far and go into the end, the inside one, it highlights the inside one, but we want the outside, the bigger one. We want to remove that one. So now we're left with just the layer we need. So we're going to select all of that, right click, join, and we're going to create its own layer. So go down here and put it on its own layer. And we're going to turn it white. And I'm going to zoom back out so we can see. I'm going to um, delete all this because we don't need it. We're going to move the white on top of the green layer. Just like that. And now we have to create the green, the fourth and final layer, which is the green layer on top. And we're going to make use of the copied ND that we did before. And this one is going to be the smaller image. So I'm going to zoom in again so you can see what I'm doing easier. So we're going to remove the back image, which is the white and it's actually selected so I can right click and delete it. And then we're going to remove the, oops, I moved it a little bit, so do the back arrow. Then we're going to remove the smaller image from the inside of each of these. Okay, so let's highlight those, delete, and then we're going to select all. And remember this little circle down here? We're going to select him, delete, select all, right click and join. Now that is our fourth and final layer. And if we create a new layer for him, turn him green, and sit, oops, it's my back arrow, sit him on top of the white. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty much like our our layer. Where's our, our picture? Yep. Looks really good. So basically that's how you do it. It does it does take some time to learn and you know there's no easy way to learn it. You just kind of have to play with it. Um, try converting an easier logo to start with or any some you can convert anything this way any kind of clip art that you find online you can convert this very same way go step by step and take your time you can you can do it too it's real easy so that's it so let me know if you have any questions hopefully this answered some questions um, for the people that had some but if you have more leave them under this video or go to my blog you can leave um, questions on my blog too, and I'll try to get back to you. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.